everyone, so today's look is going to be from Kat Von D's True Romance Palette from Sephora. So if you want to know how to do this look, keep on watching. Okay, so first we're going to start off with an eyeshadow base. I like to use Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this one's in the original shade. So you're just going to grab the wand and just put one swipe all over the lid. Okay, when you're done with that, just grab your index finger, whatever finger you want to use, and just rub it all on your eyelid. And this will keep your eyeshadow on all day. It's my favorite. And it keeps the color on really nice. Okay, so then we are going to use the Kat Von D palette. This one is True, um, True Romance. It's from Sephora. And we're going to be using these three colors. Oh, I can't get it open. Okay, these three colors. This purple, which I believe it's called uh, Skiba. This purple called Babe. And the white is called Missy. So I'm using those two colors today. So first we're going to start off with the white. This one right here. Missy. And get your MAC 224 brush, or any fluffy brush. Grab some... And then put it all over, oh my bangs are in the way, put it all over your eyelid, all over, and I like this color because it doesn't come out like really bright white, it's like a little trans transparent, so just grab some. Okay, so we're going to keep putting um, the purple on the lid like this. Alrighty, so the next color we're going to use is Skiba. It's this dark purple right here. This is going to be for our crease. And again, I'm using the Sephora Professionals. This one says Ergonomic Eyeshadow Brush. It's like a flat brush, but I love using this one for the crease because it gives a really nice shape when I do my crease. So grab a little bit, and you're going to start at the end. I like to do like a V, so just go in the bottom like that, and then go up. My bangs are crazy. Okay, go like that, and just do this motion, like up and down, up and down, and just do half waves. Okay, I'm going to have to clip my bangs. They are too crazy. They're too long. I'm trying to let them go out. Okay. So go like this. Just grab some more. Some on the bottom, and do your crease. And just depending how you like, if you like it not too dark or dramatic, you could just do less. But I like to make it pop and make sure everybody knows there's a difference in the two colors. The two purples that I'm using. Okay, so after our eyeshadow, we are going to put our eyeliner. My new favorite eyeliner is from CVS. It's called Milani Eye Tech Liquid Eyeliner. And you just shake it, and it has like a foam tip. I love it. It leaves a nice, precise black line. So just grab some. Put some on. Depending how you like your eyeliner, I don't like it too, too thick. See how nice it leaves it? Really nice. Okay, so I like to usually let my eyeliner dry before I curl my eyelashes because this happened to me before where I curl it and then it'll leave me like a black line or my eyeliner will smudge and I hate that. So next I'm going to um, grab a little spool to comb my eyebrow. Sometimes eyeshadow gets on it so just neatly brush them with a little spool. Okay, and then for my eyebrows, to fill them in, I like to use um, Max Espresso in matte. This is the matte espresso, and I use the MAC 208 brush, little flat brush. Just grab a little bit, 
I'm just fill in my eyebrows. These look really nice. I like it because it's not too, too dark or too light. So if you're like brunette like me and have dark eyebrows, then this is the perfect color. My mom actually gave me this one. Because before I would use like a pencil and I really didn't like it. How I lost my eyebrows. Okay. I shadow my forehead. Oops. Okay. Alrighty. So next we are going to curl our beautiful eyelashes. So I can only find my curler. Hang on a second. Okay. So curl my eyelashes. This one's from Sephora. I believe it was like eight or ten dollars. Not quite sure. Okay. And then we are going to let me scare us down here. Jeez, I thought I brought everything up from my box. Okay, so we're going to apply some mascara. This is Hard Candy Ginormous Slash Volumizing Mascara in Blackout. This is seriously my favorite, favorite mascara right now. It's from Walmart. Uh, Hard Candy has their line there. They have tons of stuff. And these, this, um, these, this mascara leaves my lashes super, super long, as you can see. And I like because I could put a lot of layers and it won't leave like those clumpy, like spidery um, eyelashes. I love it. It's my favorite. It's like $6, so it's really cheap. Just apply several coats of mascara. So then we are going to put eyeliner on our waterline. This is NYX Double Sided Eyeliner and Shadow. It's black and dark brown on each side. One on each side. So we're gonna have the oops, that's brown. We're gonna grab the black and put some on our waterline just a little bit. Okay. okay, just put a little bit and then oh my eyes always water when I do this. And then grab the hard candy ginormous mascara. I like to put a little bit the bottom. This is also perfect for underneath your little baby eyelashes because the way <coughs> the tip is, it's perfect. Okay. So, last but not least, we are going to do our blush. This is my favorite blush right now. It's from e.l.f. Eyes, Lips, Face Cosmetics. And it's in Tickled Pink. Really pretty. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm. That's my favorite, favorite blush, but I ran out. So grab your blush brush. This is Sephora Professionals. I'm using this one. It's an angled blush blush brush. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. I like to suck in my cheeks. Put some on, smile. I love pink blushes, and this is not too, too pink, so that's why I like it. Okay, and okay. last but not least, we're going to grab a lipstick. I like to use MAC Lip Gloss in Purr. My favorite color. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's really pretty. Apply some on. Mm. You can also use like a nude um, lipstick or lip gloss if you want with this look, but... I choose like the pinkish look. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So if you want to um, copy this look, just get the Kat Von D palette in True Romance from Sephora. There's so many other colors in this palette. They're so pretty. Maybe next time I'll do like a a bronzy gold look ones right here. Really pretty. So, yeah, if you want to copy this book, pick up this palette, comment below, and let me know what you think. Alright, bye!